have a special Christmas celebration online episode for you today. We want to remind you to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you never miss a video. From all of us here at Family Worship Center, we want to wish you a Merry Christmas!
Celebration Online. Well, last week was Thanksgiving, and I hope all of you had a wonderful time with family and friends as you ate a yummy, delicious Thanksgiving dinner. And kids, even though Thanksgiving is over, I want to encourage you to every day give thanks to God for all of the wonderful things He has done for you and your family. Well, now that Thanksgiving is over, guess what? It's time to talk about Christmas. And today we want to teach you the real meaning of Christmas, what Christmas is all about. You know, as Christians, we have two great special holidays that we love to celebrate every year. They are grand celebrations for the church. One is Christmas, when we celebrate the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And the other is Easter, when we celebrate Jesus' death, burial, and resurrection. Well, today we want to focus on Christmas and the birth of Jesus. So open up your Bibles to a great memory verse found in Matthew 1, verses 22 and 23. Matthew 1, 22 and 23 says, Now all this was done that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Behold, a virgin shall be with child and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. Matthew 1, 22 and 23. Kids, isn't that so cool that the birth of Jesus was prophesied years and years and years ago by the prophet Isaiah. It is, to me, it's so awesome that he was gonna be born in Bethlehem, was prophesied years ago. That he'd be born to a Virgin Mary, was prophesied years ago. Kids, it really is a miracle about the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus. And Christmas is a wonderful time. Some people think Christmas is about Santa. Is Christmas about Santa? No, no. Some people think Christmas is all about the presents and the gifts. Gifts are great. I love to give them and you love to get them. But Christmas is not about presents. Some people think Christmas is about the trees and the ornaments and the wreaths and all the fun decorations. All of that is great, but that is not what Christmas is about. Christmas is about Jesus. So today we have a great Bible story found for you in the book of Luke. And it talks about the birth of Jesus. And I encourage all of you at home to make sure you go read about Jesus. In fact, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John all talk about Jesus' life and his death and his resurrection. And I encourage you this Christmas season to spend time reading about Jesus. Well, something else that we see at Christmas time is a candy cane. 
And this to me is a wonderful symbol of Christmas and it's a great opportunity for you to share Christmas and the real reason of Christmas, which is Jesus with someone else. You know, when I see a candy cane and I move it like this, it reminds me of a J, J for Jesus. And this would be a great opportunity to, for you to witness to some of your friends. And then if I turn it like this, it becomes a shepherd's staff. Well, the Bible tells us that Jesus is our shepherd. And think about shepherds, they care for their sheep. The Bible says the shepherd will go after just one missing because the shepherd loves his sheep and Jesus loves you. You know, and on this candy cane, I see red. And that reminds me of when Jesus was beaten. And the Easter story talks about how Jesus died for our sins and he, he was beaten and bruised for every, all the wrong things we've done for the sin. But the white is for the purity, how he washes away all our sin and makes us clean and new when we receive him as our Lord and Savior. So kids, when you see a candy cane, it makes me think of Christmas and Jesus, and I hope it makes you think of Jesus as well. And I encourage you to give someone you don't know, that, that you know that does not know Jesus, a candy cane and share with them the true meaning of Christmas. Well, kids, I encourage you to watch our whole lesson today. It wouldn't be Celebration Online without a secret code. So watch all the way to the end for today's secret code. And remember, Christmas is all about Jesus, your Lord and Savior. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Pickin, Pickin Noses with your nightly news. We are joining you tonight on this brisk and chilly evening. I'm enjoying my hot cocoa. Oh, it's very, very hot, but de delicious nonetheless, especially if they had remembered my marshmallows, it would be even better. But we're not here to talk about hot cocoa. No, we have a breaking news story just recently. It has come to our attention that Jesus Christ, the Savior of the world, was born in Bethlehem. We have Newsy Newsom live on the scene. Thanks, Pickin. I'm Newsy Newsom from WFWC Jerusalem. And there's a lot of sheep poo poo out here. It's really nasty. Anyways, <laughs> so we're here with uh, Mary's donkey. What's your donkey's name, Mary? This is Rasmus. How you doing, Rasmus? You're a good boy. Well, we have a really exclusive interview with our continued news coverage of our continued story about the continued coverage of Jesus Christ's birth. Mary, are you ready? Let's go to do that interview. Okay. It was a miracle, a wonderful, beautiful miracle. And this miracle started with a young girl, Mary who many months ago, before she had married her husband Joseph, was simply doing what young girls do. But she loved God with all of her heart and wanted to serve Him. An angel visited me. I was so scared and frightened, but the angel said, don't be afraid. He said to me that, I, that God had found favor in me and that I would have a baby boy and I was to name him Jesus. I was so excited, but I didn't quite understand. The angel went on to tell her that this baby would save the world. Like I said, I didn't quite understand, for I was a virgin. The angel told me the Holy Spirit would come upon me and that I was to bear God's very own son. I was so excited, I told the angel, Behold, I am the handmaiden of the Lord. Let it be done to me according to what you have said. It was done exactly as the angel had said. Mary knew that she had to obey God. She had to do what was asked of her. Nine months later, Joseph and Mary traveled to Bethlehem to be registered, and she knew it was time for the baby to be born. But we couldn't find a room in an inn because the census was taking place. But there was a nearby stable on a hill. In fact, it was this stable. So I went to this stable and I delivered Jesus, God's son, and my firstborn. And I laid him in this manger. That's right, folks, you heard it here first. Jesus has been born. That's right. Thank you, Mary, for your time. Back to you, Pickin. Wow, Newsy, that is amazing. That story of how Mary, the mother of Jesus, brought our Savior into the world, a miracle birth. What an amazing story. This has been Pickin, 
picking noses with your nightly news. Today's Bible story is found in Luke chapter 2, verses 1 through 7. Long ago, the ruler of the Roman Empire sent out a decree to all the land, including where Joseph and Mary lived. It said, A census should be taken throughout the Roman Empire. All must return to register, each to his own town. So Joseph left his hometown of Nazareth and went to the city of King David, Bethlehem, where his ancestors lived. He took along his pregnant bride-to-be, Mary. While they were in Bethlehem, the time came for Mary to give birth to her son. This was no ordinary baby, for Mary became pregnant by the power of the Holy Spirit. Jesus, the Savior of the world, was born, and Mary wrapped him up in spare cloths and put him in a manger because their inn had no rooms available. This was how God's Son entered the world. In a nearby field, some shepherds were keeping watch of their flock. In the sky, an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone all around. The shepherds were terrified, but the angel said to them, Don't be afraid. I bring you good news that will bring great joy to all people. The Savior, yes, the Messiah, the Lord, has been born today in Bethlehem, the city of David, and you will recognize him by this sign. You will find a baby wrapped snugly in strips of cloth, lying in a manger. Suddenly a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in highest heaven, and peace on earth to those with whom God is pleased. When the angels had disappeared, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So the shepherds hurried off and found Mary, Joseph, and the newly born baby who was lying in a manger. After leaving the inn, they spread the word about this child and all who heard were amazed at what the shepherds said to them, that God's son, the promised savior of the world, had been born. Mary heard all these things and treasured them in her heart. Hey boys and girls, I'm Pastor Justin and I want to share with you about the greatest gift of all and that is Jesus Christ and that's what Christmas is all about. And so as you know earlier, Miss Amy was sharing with you about the candy cane and how when you turn it this way, it looks like a J which represents Jesus and when you flip it around, it looks like a shepherd's staff. And then if you notice the colors on there, it's red and white and that represents what Jesus did on the cross for us. You know, Jesus uh, took on stripes and he shed his blood just so that we could receive Jesus as our Lord and Savior. And so if you have not yet accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I want to ask you to pray with me this prayer and accept Jesus into your heart today. I want to encourage you to bow your heads, close your eyes, and pray with me today. Dear Heavenly Father, I accept Jesus as my Lord and Savior. I believe that Jesus came to this earth to live and to die and to rise again on the third day just for me. And I confess with my mouth that Jesus is my Lord. I ask you, Lord, to forgive me of all unrighteousness and all sin. And today I believe that Jesus is my Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Boys and girls, if you prayed that prayer with me, then now you are a Christian. And we can celebrate Christmas together as everybody else celebrates. That's what I love about Christmas is because everybody says Merry Christmas. And so I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. Today's secret code is Christmas is all about the birth of Jesus. Thank you for watching Celebration Online. Kids, I want to encourage you to make sure that you're in church. At every one of our Family Worship Center locations, we have an amazing children's ministry that you can be a part of. If you live here in Florence, come see us. You can meet my husband, Pastor Steve, and see myself over here in celebration. If you live in Columbia, 
please connect with Pastor JT and Miss Natalie at their church. And if you live in Georgetown, please go see Pastor Justin and Miss Joanna at their church. And finally, if you live in the Sumter area, we invite you to connect with Family Worship Center Sumter online. You can visit fwcsumter.com to be a part of our online community as we begin building Family Worship Center's newest location. Kids, come see us in celebration at Family Worship Center. We have a great time every Sunday.